What do you think his reaction will be the first time he sees a kid dressed up like a spider? Going, we don't need roads. Mr. Leto, good to see you again, sir. How are you? Hey, Jake. Nice to see you, too. Uh, congratulations on this. I got a thousand questions for you, so I'm going to jump into it. You know, you always hear these really great stories of actors um, playing Marvel characters, and then one of the benefits is that they get to sort of dress up as their characters, and they go visit kids. I, I, I was a dark, weird kid growing up, and I would have loved Morbius to come visit me. I'm sort of curious, is there any part of joining this world to which that aspect of it kind of appeals to you, that, that you get to do more with the character than just make movies. I think that's pretty fun. And I, I definitely experienced that uh, in other films. And, uh, you know, especially if you can make people kind of, you know, smile a little bit. I might scare the living shit out of people if I showed up as Morbius here. But, uh, but yeah, that is that is fun. Um, and and I, I do think that that, you know, once once you see people dressing up as that character's Halloween, you kind of know you hit a nerve. For sure. That's which I th absolutely think we're going to be seeing that later this year. Um, yeah. Obviously, so many people are fascinated with the idea of Morbius crossing paths with Spider-Man, crossing paths with Blade down the line. And I know you've said a lot that, that you want to do that, but you know this character very well now. So I want to take it a step further. What do you think his reaction will be the first time he sees a kid dressed up like a spider? I mean, I don't know. It might look like a tasty treat um, or, or it could be a threat. Depends, uh, you know, in the circumstances, it could also be you never know. Could be a friend. I like um, that. So, uh, yeah, it would be fun to go head to head with with some of these incredible characters that these amazing actors have, have brought to life. And uh, yeah, you never know what's in store. Well, speaking of amazing actors, I have to say nothing, without getting into spoilers, nothing made me happier than seeing, obviously, the great Michael Keaton show up in the film. Uh, he's obviously a man who has some history playing some version of, uh, of a bat in the past. I'm curious, have you had any conversations with him about his experience in this world, maybe his experience as Batman that may have helped you with Morbius? No, we didn't. We didn't. We didn't talk about that. But uh, I've been a big fan of his since I was a kid. Um, and he's just one of the best, you know, the, the energy, the passion, the, he, he's, he's just a fantastic actor, you know, uh, there's a reason why he's been around for so long and it's so great to, to, to have him, um, uh, you know, a, a part of what we're doing. I'm excited to see y'all's future together. I'll, I'll cut you loose on this. A lot has been written about uh, your process of acting, not necessarily method, but more sort of an immersive style of acting. So since you are so in the character, whenever you're playing your different variations of characters, what is it like for you when you finally watch the final cut of the film for the first time? What is that experience like for you just as a person? Uh, it's non-existent because I, I never really watched the films. Mm -hmm. um, I, but I do remember there are there were a couple of times I did watch the movie. I actually watched Re Requiem for a Dream at Cannes because Darren was like, you know, going to kill me if I didn't. But uh, and I, it was really beautiful um, to, to be part of everyone's, you know, collective experience in the theater there with the writer. I, I'm really glad that I did that. I mean, it was quite special, um, but I really haven't I haven't done it since. And uh and I think that works for me. You know, when, when you look at things that people could imagine this, I know it might sound strange, but you can get quite um, self-conscious. And the idea of acting is to be completely free. Um, so there's some contradiction there. Uh, and, and, you know, I, I, I find the process to be a little more free and enjoyable when I'm not being so conscious about, uh, about that and looking for, at the performance from the outside in. Well, your sacrifice is to the benefit of all of us because then we do get to sit in the theater and watch these amazing performances. Uh, Mr. You. Leto, I, I appreciate your time, sir. You've always been great and always added me onto your press days and I always really appreciate it.